restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuz Ochinere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb up on that hill, OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. My name is uh, Maxwell Chetobasi. I located OPM 2013 through my wife. But before I joined OPM, I used to have this uh, challenge, spiritual challenge. One, each time I dream, I see myself in the village. Number two, it, I used to fire in the dream like tomorrow, no day. <laughs> <laughs> So, and this one was so challenging. I've been to so many churches to no avail until I located OPM. I came to OPM May 2013. When I came, I collected an assignment on a spiritual wife assignment. So, when I came to see Daddy, I just whispered to him that, uh, Daddy, I don't know, day before that day, I saw myself, somebody was chaining me. Somebody just chained my hand in my dream, and he just hit my head. So after then, I did my assignment, and it stopped. Then uh, I took an uh, assignment on financial restoration, and that was the beginning of my testimony. So a lot of things has been happening, good things, so many things. I weathered in OPM. Mm. I have a son now, mm. which I will dedicate this month. In fact, plenty testimony. Mm. But today, I just want to dedicate my car. Clap for Lord Jesus. He weathered in OPM. He married in OPM. He gave a wife belly in OPM. The wife born in OPM. And he will dedicate the baby in OPM. And he buy a motor in OPM. One name of a baby. Chidu Bem Bene Chetabasi. Chidu Bem, anoint the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. Yeah, it is really true. This is my first time to be in OPM. Wait, this is your first time? And you are testifying today? Clear for Dr. Jesus. This is her first time of coming to OPM and she is fine today. What, what is my, this? my name is Favor God Day. The time I'm pregnant, the pregnant was so hard. Everywhere I go, they say that they will do me operation, but inside that operation, I will not come out. My baby will not come out. All the whole pastors, we are going, they are praying and said, if I go to this oppression, I will die. The labor is too much for me. I called my husband. I will not die. I will go to this oppression. But normally, I normally watch daddy in the television. I took his number. I called my husband. Please help me and search daddy OPM number. Call him. Let him pray for me, and I will go and come back. My husband searched the number and bring it. When he called at the OPM, that the OPM told him to go and give me the phone in the theater. Because the BP was so high, the doctor was looking, that they will not do this operation because the BP is too much. When my husband came to me and said he's daddy OPM, he gave me the food and daddy prayed for me. My daughter, you will not die. You will live and your baby will live. I said, daddy, my baby is not kicking again. He said, that baby will not die. The baby will be alive and you will be alive. I say, amen. When I say that, amen. My, my spirit was strong. 
and immediately the BP get down. Immediately the BP dropped down. The doctor said, check this woman again. Then checked me and they see that the BP have get down. They say, ah, what is the miracle? I say, it's my daddy. Then they start the operation and bring the baby out. The baby is alive and I'm alive. I was still in the hospital. I said, no, I will come and give this testimony. I'm oh, alive. you came from hospital? Yeah. Yes. Clap for that to Jesus, everybody. You came from hospital to this place. Knee down. Knee down. Knee down. Oh, okay. Say blood of Jesus three times. Say it again. Say it again. Two months. Father Lord, we thank you for this safe delivery. For there shall be no loss. Thank you. I use as a point of, point of contact to your baby and to you in Jesus' name. Give Jesus a clap offering. God is here. God is here. Indeed, God is here. I'm overwhelmed with happiness mm. for what God has done. Indeed, God has proved that He is here. Mm. And indeed, God have proof that he respects the word of his servants. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in three years in marriage. It looks like nothing is happening. We met daddy. Daddy said it does not matter the laboratory test. It does not matter what the report said. All you whom hear the word of the Lord. Mm. Open. Open. And Open. conceive. Open and conceive. Uh -huh. The baby boom, the fourth baby boom we had in this place. Daddy said we should come with baby clothes. Any sex you want, either male or female, bring the clothes. If you want a jima, bring the clothes. I and my husband in agreement. We bought clothes for baby boy. At the end of the program, Daddy said we should raise the clothes of Daddy prophesied. Say, I am calling the spirit of these children. Wherever you are, appear and enter your clothes. That is the baby boy. Look at this. That is why. See, go, go to market. Buy baby clothes. If you want girl, buy baby girl clothes. If you want boy, buy baby boy clothes. If you want a jima, buy baby a jima clothes. They bought a baby boy clothes. They came for the program. And during the present, I summoned the children into those clothes. Today, is it a baby boy or a baby girl? Baby boy. Baby. Boy. Power. 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 Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? 
Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. And God's general, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment. And your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. God is here. Up here. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is uh, Eddie Mo Ikama. I come from Akwaibo State. I came to testify what God has done for me and my family. On Wednesday, I was decided to go to back to work because I work th every three, three weeks outside. My wife's pregnancy was due. Mm. And at the same time, I was waited not signal has yet come. I said, okay, let's go back to the hospital before I travel the next day. And uh, God so kind, the doctor told me that they have to do plus and minus again to check how the scanning was going on. After that, on Tuesday, we finished the year in the hospital. We now came afternoon here in the church. We waited after we finished the program. Daddy, has, Daddy prayed for us and said you deliver like an Hebrew man. Mm. On that Wednesday night around 3.30 a.m., my wife woke up to prepare something for me. I told her I'm host to go. The doctor also confirmed there's no problem. I can go back to my work, that the, everything will be easy. And my greatest surprise, after I left them in the hospital, I now went to the nerve base to travel. They checked me in, I collected my clearance just to enter into the flight to sit down and have my rest because to start the move. The next day, I had a call from the hospital. They told me that I used to super person say, hey, yes, say your attention is needed in the hospital. Mm. I said, what? The and he's already he's about to enter the plane, no? The doctor said, this case now is 50-50. Uh, I said, what do you mean by the 50-50? He said, either your wife, for, because the condition they have seen now, either your wife will have to go through the CS. I said, no. I did not budget and plan for CS. So what I have expected my wife to do is to put and deliver like an Hebrew woman and believe an Hebrew woman style. So not CS. So I was troubled. I talked to my manager close to me. They said, Cole, you have to go. I left the place and now I get to the hospital. On my way going there, I have to call the last senior pastor that out that George. He assured me, he said, your wife, even the razor will not penetrate her. I said, thank God. So I get into the hospital like a miracle. I pray for my wife. I said, you are my wife. Baby, you are my own. And I have to see you. I want to see you and get you born like an Hebrew woman. I told my wife. So I pray. I gave her the anointing oil, everything, just like that. Not quite long. That is number words. And daddy, I was best in trouble on that words. I trouble you. I said, daddy, I'm here in the hospital. My wife wants to put to bed. The condition they are giving to me, I can't solely. Daddy said, give her the phone. And I gave my wife the phone. Immediately, you what you're saying. I had my wife say, I drink the blood of Jesus. I drink the before I the said, short time. I said, drink the blood of Jesus. Say, I drink. She said, I drink the blood of Jesus. Eh? Just watch you. Eh? But before the third time, the next thing, the phone flew out of my wife. I hold my phone. The, uh, the oh, started immediately. And they come in the, the inside the room that you have to leave. Oh, this time around, everything has done. This is not your time for to be to be here. The next thing, they push my wife and go in there. In the next uh, few minutes, I had a sound. I got the victory that my wife put in. Baby, baby boy, praise God. Amen. He said, say, I drink the blood. He said, I drink the blood of Jesus. Say it again, second time. As he said it the third time, baby, say, mba, mba, tawala. You see, uh, the problem is this. A lot of people don't know the power in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus is so powerful. As he called the blood first time, better one drug, I said one drug. As he called the second time, as he called the third time, now blood come. Can you be your baby? Oh yeah, put on. Today, the blood of Jesus that confronts every power blocking you. I said the blood of 
angels are confront every power confronting you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. So I thank God. I came to thank God for what God has done for me to be above all my adversaries in Jesus' name. And Amen. secondly, I want to dedicate my two plot of land. Clap for Dr. Jesus Nina. Savior A.D. Ikama. Savior, and I tell you, the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. My name is Mrs. Faith Linus. I live at number 18 and a car road. Of number 18 and a car road for investigation. Not Sogoto, not Sabisa Forest. Number 18 and a car road. Uh -huh. Of Airport Road, Rupoku. Uh -huh. for when I was pregnant of this baby, I went for a scan, and when the result came out, uh, the result said that I, I have low line placenta. You have no line placenta. Low, low line. Uh, baby is all placenta down, mm -hmm. and if I'm to de deliver the baby, I will pass through operation or bleeding. So I told my husband. My husband said I should come and meet daddy, which I came. He prayed for me and assured me that I would deliver safely. So during the time of labor, I, I called him. I went to the hospital. I called daddy. Daddy prayed for me when the labor started. So he prayed around after 9. But around 11.30, when the labor was serious, you know, after everything, I pushed and baby came out. And after everything, placenta came out too. And Clear for the Jesus, everybody. Anybody with any negative doctor's report today, it shall be nullified in the name of Jesus. Eh? And there was no bleeding or operation. Mm. Then the second one was when we were preparing for the baby's dedication. Uh, a boy now started growing beside her breast. A I boy started growing beside her breast. So I thought it was just normal sometime. When I bought a uh, Agumatin from pharmacy, I gave her other ones dried, but that particular one refused to dry. Every day I keep praying. I showed my husband, I said, this thing is serious. Instead of it to be drying, it's growing more and more. And the baby will be crying. He can't carry her, she can't lie down, she can't eat. So my husband said, people were telling me anyway to go for children's doctor so that they can operate her. I said, no. When I was pregnant, daddy prayed for me. I delivered this baby. The, 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 the uh, doctor's report, could not happen in my life. And why would I go for operation? I was praying, believing God. So when the thing was serious, I have to come to church. Last two weeks, I came here. I met daddy. Daddy prayed for the baby and anointed that place. I asked me to go. I believed. Anointed that baby. I don't know whether they have the video of where the baby, the boy was anointed. So after the prayers we went home before the prayers there was nothing like boil inside it was just red so but that sunday night boy now entered inside a very big you know mm, boy mm. but there was no mark for it to come out mm. in the morning i prayed my husband prayed for the baby i went to work so when i, I was at work when my husband called me that ah uh, they told him that uh, the, my brother that is looking after the boy to called him that the boy has busted and Everything came out. And when I came back, I saw it. There was no operation, nothing. Just, God just healed her. God is your busted thing. Every satanic great in your life shall be busted today. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm here to give all glory to God. He, he has not made me to spend money in the hands of doctors. I say, may all glory, all honor, adoration be ascribed unto him now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Nida. What name of a child? Excellent. She's an Amekbere Linus. She's an Amekbere. Excellent. And I think the mother, father, son, Lord, speak in Jesus' name. God, a year to change your life. It takes God a second to change your life. I don't care how people are looking at you now. I don't care the shame you have been facing. If I be a man of God, your situation must change. 
Your situation must change. Your situation must change. Your situation must change. Your situation must change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration, healing, deliverance, testimonies with Dr. Jesus in action. You are watching Hour of Testimonies with Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, General Overseer, OPM Worldwide. When you climb the OPM Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. I'm Sister Esther Imo Peter I'm from Akwaibo. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life and the entire family. I carried this child in my womb two years before I located OPM last year. I carried the baby for two years. Baby, look at TV. Two years. She carried it for two years. Uh -huh, continue. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I come OPM with tears and sorrow. What made me to come OPM? I was in the growth market, selling market. They carry my little son. Wait, you ask which market? So people can Creek Road market. Creek Road market. Which lane for Creek Road? Aba line on the 18 August last year. Aba line. Uh -huh. Yes. So you can go and investigate. Did this woman carry pregnancy for two years? Amen. For investigation. Please continue. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last uh, this year, July, I took assignment. My husband said whether I will fit do this assignment. I said with God, all things are possible. Then I said the assignment because when this child in my womb, I was very fat and black. So I couldn't sit down every time. I would always lie down in the ground. But I thank God. During after my mercy prayer, my husband, mother, now called my husband. They set a meeting. Say my husband should remove me in the house. If my husband did not remove me in that house, that I will die, and the, my child will come out. Then my husband said, he now asked her, say if my son come back. Who will now take care of the beginning? She said she will take care of the baby. That they did not want me in that family. My husband said no. He will never, never. Good give man. Me. You're a good man, your husband. You're a good man. Praise the happy. Lord. Hallelujah. After my mercy prayer, I continue in midnight prayer. The last day was Friday night. I pray, finish, sleep. In that dream, I dream I saw daddy. Daddy visited me with mommy. And I bring everything. Tell daddy, daddy say, why not tell me this thing since? Then I now bring out everything, tell daddy. Daddy got hungry in that dream and removed his shoe. He said, by the, by the anointing, you know, Omega Power Ministry, that I will deliver this child. I cannot carry this child again. In that amen that I say, my dear brethren, that amen, water come out, out of my body. Uh -huh. That is how I take born this, my baby. I just lie down there. My baby fly out, present and now come out. I say, may the good God in heaven receive all the glory. All the honor, all the adoration has made me to be among of the believers today. I say, may his name alone be hiding a son now and forevermore. Amen. Maybe you are watching me on the television. I don't know how many years you've carried that baby. Come to OPM. I'll give you a cement. You deliver. Not grammar. You're not paying any money. Hello? You're not paying any money. All those people you pay money, they're just wasting your money. Any church you go to, they say you have to pay money for the pastor who attend to you. That pastor is a thief and robber. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. OPM. Dr. Jesus in Dr. Action. Dr. Jesus in Action. God is here. My name is Mrs. Stonet Moore. My baby here is Dam Shable Moore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I located OPM single. I came to OPM single and lonely. Go won't kill me. 
Oh, you know, both are matan. Eh? I got married here in OPM. I graduated here in OPM too, with a very good result. After my wedding, the enemy sat on my womb because I had a society wedding. The kind of wedding that everybody in my community, the story never ended up to date. So after the wedding, if a lot of processes were coming that I'm not going to give birth. <laughs> so an, to a point, my husband will start misbehaving and he will leave me. We started praying. That same month that mommy gave birth to Princess of OPM, I tapped into the delivery of, this, of that baby. That same day, I took him. Clap for that, Lord Jesus. Although believing God for foot of the womb, receive your foot of the womb in the name of Jesus. But today, I have two beautiful daughters. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, God has been so merciful, so wonderful to my family. I'm here to dedicate our car. Clap for that, Lord Jesus. I'm Shabele, if you should go there anymore. I know it's the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our being. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You've just listened to the testimonies, you've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just lead the way right now? Lay on your skin. Let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God, you say that if my people that I call my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will learn from heaven and I'll forgive myself and heal their land. He the Lord of children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and everything has become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick an assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I'll give you an assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an amber He's a thief. He's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel form, or you do this express. So, you can come and see me, and I'll give you a assignment, and your story must change. In the name of Jesus. So, call me on this number, and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need, in Jesus' name. There's no one like you.